All right, so here's our fuel tank here, and I really can't show you the inside, but it's I took a brush and I pulled it out of there, and it was sticky and brown and nasty. It stinks. Uh, there's no question that this was sitting around for a very long time. Um, first, let's try the simple green. We're going to just get a... I use I save a bunch of cans. I save like spaghetti cans, uh, containers and things like that that I use for draining gas and I'm going to pour some simple green in it and we'll put this in here. We'll let it sit for 24 hours and see what uh, what it does. All right, so our first test is simple green. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it in the gas tank. Then we're going to put the lid on. I'll shake it up a little bit. And we'll leave it sit here for 24 hours. And let's see what, uh, what result we get. Alright, so it's been 24 hours later. Let's open this up. And I see a little bit of brown in there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's try to dump this out. still stinks really bad. There's, it's a little bit brown. You can see it's like a light color, so it did do something. But it didn't get it totally out of here. There's, you could see it in there. It's just disgusting. And it still smells really bad. So let's go ahead and try the power wash and let that sit for 24 hours and see what we get from that. Alright, so with the power wash, I'm just going to spray it inside of here. Spray it inside there, move it around, put the cap on, let it sit for 24 hours. Alright, 24 hours later, let's see what we got here. I mean, at least it's dripping out of here. That's a good sign. Let's try to dump it out. So it didn't seem to do much. It still, still stinks. I still see a lot of that varnish on the bottom of the tank. It's hard to get a look in there. It's such a small tank. There is some brown, so it is breaking it down a little bit. You can see the brown there. So we're going to switch to the just Dawn dish soap. Let's see how that works. This test has taken several days, but it's worth it. Alright, so I'm just going to try some regular Dawn dish soap. Put some in there. And I'm going to mix it with some water. And I'm going to shake it up. Shake it up real good. And we'll let that sit and see what we get. see what happened overnight. I really don't see any color at all. I don't see that it's breaking. I mean there's it's very very light. I don't see that it's breaking down anything in there. It's just a bunch of suds. It still smells awful. This tank is this horrible. It must have been sitting for a very long time as I said. We can't have that in the gas tank. So really, it really didn't get much of a result from the dish soap. So I think what we'll do next is uh, we'll try the oven cleaner and see what happens.
All right, let's try the oven cleaner. This is just dollar store. What does it say? DG Home Heavy Duty Oven Cleaner. Lemon scent. We're going to try that. We're just going to spray it directly into the container. Be generous with it. Spray it right in there. Probably want to do this stuff outside. And we'll let that sit and see what we get. Alright, 24 hours later, I really I see a big difference here. I see it's very, very brown in the container. It's like dark brown. So I'm going to try to empty this. Wow. <coughs> wow, that's stinky. <coughs> it's that oven cleaner. That's why I say you should do it. Probably wear a mask. But you can see that it's sludgy. It's very brown. It's almost like a tea color. And I'm looking inside and it definitely looks like there was a bunch of that varnish just layered on the bottom. That seems to be gone. So that's really the best result so far. It's hard to see with all these suds. But it's like dark brown so it's breaking down that varnish. There you can see it. It's really breaking down that varnish. It's hard to see again with the suds, but this is like a dark brown. I mean, that's the best uh, result I've gotten so far as far as breaking down the varnish. But we're going to try the uh, vinegar next and see what happens with that. Let me clean up this container. Alright, so this is getting exhausting. It's been like, I don't know how many days I've been doing this, but we're going to try the white distilled vinegar. We'll pour that in the tank because there's certainly a lot of varnish left in there. We'll try some uh, white vinegar. We'll close it up. Shake it all up. And we'll come back in 24 hours and see what the result is. Alright, good morning guys. It's been 24 hours. I'm going to open it up. Cap looks pretty good. Dump it out. And that's a tiny light shade to it. You know, like a watered down coffee. It's just, it's definitely not the result I got from the oven cleaner. So I would have to say the leader so far is this cheap DG Home dollar store oven cleaner. But we're going to sit this in here and uh, I'll put some more of the oven cleaner in there and I'll let it sit for a couple days. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how much of this varnish it can break down in here. Alright, so we did the oven cleaner again. And I just decided to do it for uh, 24 hours just to keep it equal. I've done multiple treatments of the oven cleaner. So I'm going to open it. And you can see how, see how brown that is, how it's eating through the varnish. That's like, uh, kind of like coffee. So it's definitely breaking down the varnish. Let me get a smell in here. It smells a lot better. I mean, I don't even smell the varnish right now in it. The cap looks good. You can see how brown that is there. 
So I would say that the oven cleaner is doing the best job of everything. And I'm looking in the bottom here and I don't see the the varnish was I mean it was caked on there on the bottom. It's done an amazing job on it. So I would say the uh dollar store oven cleaner is the winner here. I'm going to try several different treatments on it. I mean it is draining out of the uh, the hole here which is good. Um, what we can do is do a drain test on it while we're going through the tank and make sure that the venting on the cap is working properly. So I can just fill this up with water while we have it while we're cleaning it out rather than wait till later and make sure that gas or water in this point is flowing out of it. But you can see that it's breaking down the varnish and it's stinky. And like I said, the, it's amazingly clean in there. So if you're having the same problem, I would try oven cleaner. I think that's what a lot of people would have in their homes. Instead of going with like an acid or something like that. Uh, so quickly I'm just going to try to fill this up with just plain water and make sure this fuel is flowing out of here with the cap on. That'll tell us that the venting's working properly and then I can put this out in the sun for several days. Make sure it's totally dried out. Uh, you know there's areas that you're not going to be able to get to in here. You know there's a lot of crevices and things in there. Uh, but. I'd say do it for several days until you can't really smell that strong varnish smell in there anymore. And it's getting there. I don't really smell a lot of the varnish smell. Um, so let me uh, fill this with water and we'll just make sure that water is coming out of here which will also mean that fuel is going to flow properly with the cap on and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I've been doing this for several days. It's probably been a week on and off, soaking it. You know, it's going to take some time to clean that varnish out of there. It's hard to get in there. You know, I did even take a screwdriver and a, I cut a piece of rag and put the rag inside and kind of took the screwdriver and scrubbed the bottom. But now I'm just running water through it just to make sure the cap venting is good and that it's flowing good out of for the fuel line, for the that's going to supply the carburetor. And you can see it's flowing really good. Definitely a good flow there for the gas. So like I said what I'm going to have to do now is rinse it really really good with just water. Shake it up several times. Set it out in the sun. You know, it's been like 85, it's been very warm. Set it out in the sun. You know, let all that water evaporate. Okay, so I think it's pretty obvious which product is the best in the winter. It's the cheap dollar store oven cleaner. And you could probably use Easy Off as well. Uh, on this can it says compared to Easy Off, so it's kind of an Easy Off competitor. But it's just DG Home Oven Cleaner, Lemon Scent. And that seemed to do the trick to clean the tank out without using any acids or any special mixes or anything like that. So maybe you have this in your house and it's going to help you clean your tank out. And uh, hopefully that helps you out.